Hey YouTube, how in the fuck are you guys doing today? So today, so today we are at Briarcliff for the last MX National of the year. I uh, met some lot of cool people. I'm gonna take you over and let you meet uh, my new friend, uh, Double R, Ralph Rodriguez, all the way from Corona, California, this motherfucker is from. But uh, he's a pretty cool dude. We got the gas gas out here. Uh, that's another special thing we'll talk about later. But uh, we're here waiting on Zach this morning. Um, everything else we got to do is pretty much ready. I'm waiting to find out the race order. Um, that's always important uh, to know that. We are not parked in the greatest spot, uh, but whatever, our boy Blake is right over there. Um, there's some other people here that I've met. Met a lot of cool people. Everybody likes the YouTube channel, which I find hilarious to me, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Put on here. Up there, that's uh, Justin Brown and his crew, but he's not even racing. He came all this way and like, you know, uh, he's got more excuses than anything why he can't do it, you know. Oh, it's this, it's that, my bike's not ready. Uh, some kind of fucking worms that are fucking up people's grass. I really don't know what's going on, but we'll talk to him later. Let's go over and find out if uh, Ralph l laid down any heaters this morning. This is Ralph's machine. Ralph, did you lay down any heaters this morning or did you want to just not show them till A main? No, no, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. You dropped down some heaters. This is my boy Ralph Rodriguez, 5'9 Motorsports on Instagram, but it's not 5'9, you got to spell it out like a dickhead. So it's five spelled out, okay? 5'9. Yeah, dash. Underscore five underscore uh, nine. nine. Yeah, underscore motorsports, but he has to be spelled out like a dickhead. He couldn't just put five nine on it, right, right Daryl? Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. What are you doing, Daryl? Daryl. I'm working. Daryl works for TRD or whatever TDR, whatever. All right, he works there, and he is a poster child for not to do weed, son. Hey, so are you racing that thing? When tonight? Yeah. No, it's a fifty. You can't run this in the ninety class. What? Go sandbag. Go sandbag. Like I got a big bore? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I got a big bore 50? Listen to this thing. This is this is stock pipe. I'm not trying to cheat like Daryl with the FMF slip on. Fake FMF. <laughs> the fake FMF slip on. FMF. Whatever. Yeah, the fake That's one. That's what we call it. We call it the FNF because it slides off. <laughs> yeah, it's not a full exhaust. It's not a full exhaust. It's just, it's just for show. FNF. FMF, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I see that you got a transponder and you signed up. Yep. All right. When's your wife going to get here with the men and outs? What's up? She'll be here. All right. What? She said she was going to get it last night. All right. She, she's awesome if she does. Look at Tim over there. Look at him. Jesus. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, now they're going to go fuck this thing up. No. Perfection does not need practice but you know what I'm saying <laughs> right I'm kind of I'm under the I'm under the Ralph Rodriguez thing that you know what I'm saying I don't want to show everybody my heaters I don't want to show them the heaters but I want to show how fast I really can go yeah I saw you you made the table okay you did the first one you know what I'm saying you look pretty good coming through those rollers on that off camber 
You look good. You look good. Back section, I got through it pretty fast. Okay, I didn't go that back that far, Ralph. I was just in the front there. You know what I'm saying? What? We'll see. We'll see. I was talking to uh, Brian Jenkins. He came up. He likes the YouTube channel. Oh really? Yeah. So we're making we're making Ralph famous this week. We make some other motherfuckers famous. You know what I'm saying? This dude's all the way from Corona, California. All right. Cali. From Cali. 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 You know what I'm saying? You know when I first came, what everybody told me? What? Wow, I'm surprised you're not an asshole. That is true. That is true. I am real surprised that you're not a dick. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dick. And I know I am. A little dick. Yeah, a little dick. Listen, I know where I I know where I stand. It's Justin Brown. This is world famous Justin Brown. What do you got me a dick for? Dude, I'm just saying you're world famous. What is your excuse today that you're not racing? Because you're here. Because I'm here? Yeah. Alright. Well hey that guy's alright. Right. If you cared. If you cared. You know what I'm saying? I Look at that guy. I race that guy in the other class. He's pretty quick. like the hot to fucking Rubicon. Like, right. <laughs> just go beat through the shit. Like, look at it. They're all in there shaking their heads like this is not going to be a good idea. Dude, he's going to... Think about that thing he's out there dating up with their fork track. He's like, here, there's motocross racing coming up. Maybe he's like, no, dude. Yeah, like, he's going to turn people back to the pits. If there's anybody that wrecks today, or Mountlander. 
Paddle. Paddle, put the paddle on. <laughs> paddle it up. We're gonna rip it deep and put the paddle on. Here he comes. Nate Decker's gonna ride his hybrid. That's a sweet one. Yeah, they, those guys are the only ones that can do it. Alright, here it comes. Let's see if he does the triple again. This is, this is the pros getting ready to go out for their sight lap. Now, the interesting thing is Linquist is there where about I started, and I thought, what the heck is he's, his dad's coming over and saying, you're done. I think it's his dad as mechanic. I'm not sure who it is. But earlier, Max got in a huge wreck um, off that triple, the Bigfoot, they call it. And uh, you can see that you're wondering, like, why is this dude have dirt all over his shoulder and stuff like that apparently max like broke his collarbone or separated his collarbone fucked himself up pretty good and the ama official said y you're done for the day uh no no more racing uh, whichever which i didn't know like they were that stickler i mean the kid showed up apparently he came back to the hospital in enough time to push his stuff up there like his pants were all ripped it was it was quite hilarious. Like, these dudes uh, on this stuff are tough. Because, like, if I separated my shoulder, boys, I'd be at the house. But that was what was going on with Max there. So this is him going down to yell at the AMA official, like, what's up, dude? What's up? Let me ride. They're like, nah, player. Um, you're done for the day. Take her to the house. All righty. Here's uh, everybody coming back. That's Vince. Vince is a real cool dude. Uh He's from up near northern Ohio. He's cool. I hang out with him at the races. There's Bryce Ford giving me the what's up. That dude that dude uh, is proud of himself. That's all I'll say. Um, I think that's for Rostrelli right there. There's Logan Stanfield. He's another cool dude we hang out with. Uh, Brandon. Talked to those guys quite a bit. Here comes Joel. And then I think this is Janusa following him. Yeah, and then that's Caesar. That's a new another dude that rides with Tim, and uh, there's Cody Ford. Uh, well, there's the Poland dude. Um, that guy right there, the seven four five. That's his name is I think Marty Smith or something, and he is forty five years old and in the pro class. And then here's Chad comes in dead last all the time. I don't know. Earlier I saw him running for like twenty minutes up and down the up and down the starting gate. But this is them getting ready to go. Uh, for the starting gate, so they come back, and then whatever, and then um, the chick, will, the thirty-second board chick, will run out there and start shaking her ass and shit, and then you know it's about ready to be go time. <laughs> For all you 250R lovers, uh, this is something pretty cool. This is called a Lovins chassis. It's basically a copy of a 
like a lager type chassis. I thought it would be kind of cool to check this thing out. This thing was neat. saying that's guest. Yeah, 
whole bin and axle. A straight bin. I see it wobbling. I'll show you that next thing. If this is pretty much over, white flag. Okay, guys, I want to talk about something here. So um, when you come over this big triple, all right, what a lot of the pros were doing was they were coming out here and they would square this corner off. That was the fastest line. These guys do this. They're really good. Like, see, they're Brandon out there right there, and he squared it off and he come across. Well, Joel and Chad were both doing that. So the you see that this lap right here, what Joel did was is he jumped way to the inside, okay, and he – Chad was going to try to square it off. Now, what he's doing is he's setting Chad up to take that inside lap the next time, and you're going to see Joel come out here and start squaring it up. I think it's a lap or two, and he makes Chad keep thinking about that, you know, hey, I can pass you on the inside without you doing anything. It, it was a pretty good move. This was probably the most 
one of the exciting parts on the track. There also was a part in the back where they had these ten roller sections. The last two, they were doubling into this corner and hitting the step up way back there. That was pretty cool. But the both passes were made for the lead was over here off this triple Bigfoot thing that they called. It was uh, pretty pretty sweet. That's why I was filming a lot over here. <laughs> Uh, pretty much is this is the end of the race right here is Joel is pretty much winning the race Chad is getting second and taking home the championship which is pretty dumb I wish they would change the point system around to where like winning races is more important than finishing second um, you know what I'm saying so like that's I think they need to kind of fix that like be more emphasis on winning and not so emphasis on, like, whoop, you didn't screw up. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Or have a throwaway race. I, I really don't know what they got going on there. But that was pretty much uh, the end of the day. Um, I didn't race the second moto uh, because it was just so muddy on Sunday. I wasn't destroying my shit over uh, to finish seventh. So, you know, it is what it is. But... That's pretty much the end of the moto there, and uh, I'll show you Jeremy Osborne, the guy that owns this place, put on a lot of fun stuff later in the night. I'll show you some clips of the uh, 90 race that things got uh, things got pretty heated in the 90 race. It was quite interesting. Alrighty, guys, this is everybody getting lined up for the 90 race. So they had like uh, young kids, I think, or 16 and under. Um, they had, I had a, I got to go to work class. They had a mechanics class. They had a pro class. Um, they had a whole bunch of different stuff, but this is everybody getting ready to run. Um, and the rain came in, not a single person left. Um, down there is Daryl in that TDR shirt. Um, he work he works there. There's another guy that works there. And I was standing in the back of another dude's. Um, there's Mr. Janusa in the red shirt. That's Nick Janusa's dad. There's the Trimble, one of the Trimble girls. She's from uh, Kentucky. There's just a whole bunch of people over here. Now, when he lets the gate out and lets these dudes go in there, man, it was it was practice. It was like a free for all. See, there's that Blake dude or freaking Bryce Ford again. No shirt, I, oh, dude, bro. Put on a shirt, bro. You know what I'm saying? You out there? Like, people give a shit that you got no shirt on. All right? 
But that was in the back of Danny's van. And, uh, you know, that was me talking. But whatever. Nothing really important. But uh, it started raining coming in here pretty quick. But this is a little, the little Pit 90 truck thing that he had. Hopefully he does this again next year if he gets an ATV National. It'd be pretty sweet. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm going to race. Like I said, I ordered me a TRX 90, but I'm going to race next year. This is practice. I'm sorry you got to keep talking over this, but they had like a DJ and all this crap. And it was uh, getting, you know, whatever. But right there, this is uh, Tim um, from T TDR. Uh, he was running. He ran in some classes, dude. There was so many, there was so many people out here. It was nuts. This is practice. This was, it was like a full blown, crazy. And then when it starts raining, these dudes are taken out. They took out all the flags. I mean, there was some lane cutting, cheating bastards out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when it got into the racing, because it got pretty dark uh, here really, really quick. <laughs> footage from Sunday uh, we kind of ended it Saturday night at uh, Briarcliff um, didn't get much footage Sunday but anyway um, I didn't race Sunday it started raining um, and I didn't bring big tires or mud tires with me and I'm not in any points race and I'm not tearing the fuck out of my shit for uh, for really nothing so um, I left there yesterday. Uh, I got home yesterday afternoon. Um, just, you know, wanted to get out of there before the really heavy rain come and we got stuck. But anyway, 
the weekend was pretty awesome. Um, Briarcliff, Jeremy Osborne, the guy that owns it, put on a great, great, great weekend. I thought it was really good. Um, I liked that he had a bunch of extracurricular activities like the 90 pit race. That was one of the craziest pit races I've ever seen. Like, uh, that was a good idea. Hopefully, Jeremy gets another national next year. I think he will. Sody was great. There was actually spectators there on Saturday, so... I mean, they need to take that as whatever, but uh, I finished ninth overall in my class uh, because, uh, you know, there's 10 guys in there, and I went 8-9, eight, eight, you know what I'm saying? So finished ninth overall, pretty happy about that. That was 50% uh, improvement from Red Bud, but whatever. But, uh, you know, like always, guys, enjoy this vlog, or hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, we're going to get ready and get everything cleaned up because i'm going on vacation next week to hilton head and uh we got to get uh this trailer loaded because when we come back we got a bunch of fun activities uh to do we got uh a fast tracks team race that me and zach are going to do um i'm going to beat mercer and his son trison that's right that's right troy all right you and your son are going down by me and zach that's it you know what i'm saying um, also, I did get to meet uh, Brian Jenkins this weekend. A lot of people came up to me and said that they're watching uh, my vlogs and stuff from the races and they love it. Um, thank you guys. Uh, it's kind of humbling, uh, you know, like not to be known just as the dump truck guy. But, you know, we're starting to make headways in other type of genres. I'm having fun racing. Next year, I'm going to do a lot more, a lot more. Like any national within six hours, I'm doing it. Um, guaranteed and maybe eight if it's a good place to go but uh what else was i gonna say oh my boy ralph rodriguez at five nine motorsports ralph out of corona california uh next time your wife needs to bring me some in and out double doubles but playing with onion you know the rules fucking fly them motherfuckers in if she's coming but uh other than that that's what's going on brian jenkins was nice meeting you hope you enjoy the enjoy the vlog uh, you're going to get to see me, you know, hopefully kick Mercer, Mercer's ass at fucking Fast Tracks in the team race. All right? You're going to do two laps each, bud. You're done. You're done. You may, you know, you know how to do these jumps and all this wazoo crap on the motocross track. But in the woods, that's where fat guys shine. Okay? That's all I'm saying. But anyway, uh, like always, guys, hope you like enjoy the, or enjoy this video. Check out Instagram. Fucking facebook all that other bullshit and like always thanks for watching and uh i got some pressure washing to do see ya